What is going on guys? Grave here. Today we have another high-end weapon review and today we're going to talk about the ACR. I have a uh, another variant of a high-end ACR and it is a tactical ACR. We'll do a review of it uh, pretty quickly here uh, in the next couple days or next couple weeks. But I want to go ahead and get the ACR out there because the tactical ACR I like but I don't use a lot. And you know when I picked this up I didn't really I wasn't really paying attention. I thought oh I got another tactical ACR. No, you know then I recognized that it is just a regular ACR. And this weapon is, is pretty good. There's a few things that I do like about it and a few things that I don't. We'll get into that here in just a second. We'll look at the DPS that I have on this weapon. With this character, is 124,472. We're looking at the damage, which is 7495. That is the one of the downfalls of it. It's not like the black market AK or something like that that is a hard-hitting damage assault rifle. It is a little bit on the lower end in the damage spectrum. The thing is, is the fire rate is a little quicker than some of the other weapons, and it's it's fairly accurate if you put the right attachments on it. Uh, you got a rate of fire of 760 rounds a minute. Magazine size, of course, I have a high-end mag on it. I have it up to 59 rounds in the clip. Uh, your accuracy is very, very good. Of course, these things are all, guys, always remember when you watch my videos, I have attachments on these things that are built for these guns, so... Your accuracy and things aren't going to be quite as good as mine until you start putting attachments on it. But you have very good accuracy, and that's kind of the loadout I went for was accuracy and stability because it has a little bit of a higher fire rate. It has a kind of an upward recoil and kind of a side to side, so it'll kind of rattle with you and pull up. So I kind of built it for accuracy and stability, and which is, is, is a good thing. I, I like it built like that. Of course, reload speed is really quick, and that's the one thing I do like about it. It's almost like using a hybrid submachine gun. It's a fast-shooting carbine-style weapon. Range is not bad, and of course, the stability is pretty good itself. Of course, you know, stability is a thing that I always like to uh, stress. Stability and accuracy with ARs. If you have a lot of trouble with these ARs, you know, kicking on, you're not getting a lot of your shots on target. Make sure you make some things that will uh, make those weapons shoot a little better for you, a little straighter, and a little less recoil. The talents I have on this is the one thing that I do like about the weapon is the headshot damage is increased by 23.5% when using this weapon. Also, have using the skill improves the handling of the weapon for 12.5 seconds. And last but not least, critical hits with this weapon heal the user for 3% of damage dealt. I kind of like the stats on the weapon, or the talents on the weapon. They're all three pretty good, pretty useful kind of things. Sometimes you get weapons, uh, you know, and the, the talents are kind of hand. You kind of wish you had something else. That's a good thing about owning blueprints. At least you can uh, kind of, uh, you know, if you own a blueprint for a weapon, you can uh, make as many as you want to get the right talents. What I've done with this weapon is magazine. I've gone for 99% larger magazine size and 22% on my reload uh, which kind of helped the reload out like I said that was why I was a little bit quicker and th that's the reason I kind of like this gun like I said it's kind of that hybrid carbine it shoots quick a little bit faster than some other ARs so it's really good for you know being able to reload quick and if somebody's right up on you um, we're going to go with the large optics I have 22.5% headshot damage and 7% critical hit chance we have stability and reduced threat on the muzzle. Uh, the stability is 36%, which helps out a lot with the gun. And then, of course, the 22.5% reduced threat. I would like to have one for accuracy, but I kind of ran out of things building-wise of what I needed, and they were kind of stuck on the other weapons, so this is the one I ended up going with. Um, also, another thing I have is the large underbarrel, which has 22% accuracy and 35.5% initial bullet stability. If you're really going to use this weapon for a good long time, I would use one that is just straight stability there instead of just initial bullet stability. It will drop your um, it, it will drop your DPS just a hair. The one I had on it anyway did, the high end I had on it, but it did make the weapon a little bit more accurate. Of course, this is only a level 30 item. I picked this up in the dark zone in a drop, but it is a, still a pretty good gun, and this is one of the reasons I like it, guys. It does have a high fire rate, and you can see what re recoil is left is pretty much vertical. And the good thing is if you start about, uh, you know, mid-stomach, belly button area, at close ranges, the gun, you know, a lot of weapons will kind of pull up with you, but it'll kind of level out eventually. At mid-ranges, as you can see, it's still going to pull hard up high, but if you just tap fire, you can pretty much stay on target wherever you need to be. And at long, long ranges, this is kind of where the weapon suffers. To me, it's not quite as good at a distance. It's, it's like I said, it's more of a carbine-style gun in my mind than something like the AK or, you know, a uh, the RPK or the pack in or something like that. It has a little bit more range than this weapon. But the good thing about this gun is the high fire rate. Like I said, if somebody's up close on you, if you're wanting to use an assault rifle that has some pretty good... Um, DPS and you can get some pretty good stats on it, you know, or pretty good talents and you want to use like a sniper or something But you still want to use an assault rifle not a sub something you can have a little bit more range with but something that is good For up close and personal when somebody runs up on you this weapon definitely can spit out the bullets And that's the thing that I do enjoy about it. So if you're looking for a kind of a high fire rate uh, Assault rifle something that shoots a little quicker and it's a little easier to recoil than some uh, a little easy to control the recoil than some of the other high fire assault rifles in the game Try to find you a high-end ACR 
because they're very, very useful, very helpful, very good gun. And like I said, it, it is a good gun for up close and personal if you're going to use something else like a maybe a sniper and you're still needing an assault rifle for the range. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know if you have the high-end ACR. And of course, if you do, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about it. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you're not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.